All right, a barber. Hello, folks. Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. And uh, and I notice huh? I've dropped back down to 29 subscribers. We didn't hold that 30 for long, did we? So uh, I did see we went up to 31, and then we're back. We've lost two people. So sorry, folks. Whatever it was, never mind. We shall carry on regardless. We'll uh, pick up this loot. Hey. Pick up this loot. Have a look at these stairs. See what's going on. That's the big hand that way. All right then. Let's have a little nosy up here. There's a another body up there. Look. Uh, with just stuff, helms and things. Nothing else of interest. Nothing else of huh? interest. Right. So what's left? That's nothing. There's something over there. There's a door here. Let's double speed this across. Get these people running. There's a door here. That I don't think we can do anything with. Okay, fair enough. Uh, right. That door we can't go through. That's done. So it looks like this level is all sorted. And we'll head back up and talk to the steward. See what the steward has to say. I believe it was the steward. Speak with the steward in Cade Noir. Cade whatever. Come on, people. Oh, there. Yeah, double time. Double time. Oh, come out of stealth. Double time. There we go. There we go. That's what it is. Right. Up the stairs. And uh, we shall see what the steward has to say for themselves. And get through the room with the spiders in that we aye, killed. Aye. No sense listening to that old vampire. Damned Virago, not now. What? What? Was that Durant's? Because if he's seeing a second voice, seeing a second, hearing a second voice, is he on his way to being what Meowold is? Hmm. I oh. felt Meowold's passing. You slew him. Uh, he gave me no choice. It saddens me to hear it, but part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. Yes. This place Very has good. always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own, which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Meowald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... Will you stay? I shall stay. Uh, Meowald said I must go to the City of Defiance in search of the Queen. Uh, no. The energy seems all at once to drain from the air. I see. If it's Defiance Bay you seek, I'm sorry to tell you that you've come a long way for nothing. The Eastern Barbican collapsed decades ago, and Meowald never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a dead end. He got as far as gathering materials before his mind became preoccupied. I could make arrangements to have it repaired, if it is your will. When it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it. For what am I but the master's instrument? It would take time, but far less than finding another route to Defiance Bay. Uh, how do I repair the Barbican? Meowald set aside materials for the Barbican, and they are still available to you. Okay. Uh, what does being the master of Cade Nua entail? Why, there are many responsibilities involved in maintaining a keep. The extent to which you wish to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given instruction. If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I will make the necessary arrangements. Yes, blah, 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 blah. How to repair a keep. Yes. 
it's all fairly simple. Let's find this queen. You must know this queen you're looking for. Defiance Bay has no queen. The Mequins of Ada haven't reigned here since the war. The only queen with any power there is Wodica. I am told they erected an exquisite temple in her honour there, but I was never able to see it. If you mean to go there, we can get started right away on repairing the Barbican. You need only tell me what you wish to do, and I'll make the necessary arrangements. Mayowald kept a ledger, as it happens, and I've taken the liberty of updating it. You can take a look. Let's have a look. Let's get underway. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get underway. Eastern Barbican. Completed. Right. Uh, main keep. Let's get the main keep. We won't be staying in Bright Hollow, to be honest. I wouldn't have thought. Hey. Okay, go to the Temple of Wodica. Let's head to the Temple of Wodica. Now, no, I don't want that. I want my map. So now, from there, we want to head south. I think we go there and we have to go all the way around and stuff. But yeah, let's uh, hey. let's head on and have a look. Oh, loading screens. The bane of everyone's life. Roll on, like, enough memory and space for seamless worlds. Uh, right. Head south. Let's head south. Oh, people wanted to sleep, didn't they? Oh, just you. Like your well. Scholar, lad. Uh, oh, look. I beg your pardon? Nothing. I said nothing. Um, I just hey, got things to say. That old watcher. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it sure wasn't that. You said you had some things you wanted to ask him? Nah, it's... Well, it's kind of embarrassing now. I just got a dumb idea my head is off. Don't know why I thought it'd work. That's funny. That's probably the first thing I got my hopes up for in... I don't know. Years. At least I got that out of it. Uh, there's no need to be embarrassed. I won't judge. All right. This fair is fair, and you did bring me to see him. Those rumors back in Gilded Vale about my brother, Woden. About how he turned against us and fought for Widewin. Been on my mind for some time now. Okay. The thing about Woden was, he always knew what was right, and that's what he'd do. One day he set out to fight for Deerwood against a man claiming to be our god. So I knew that's what I had to do, too. Was right. But hearing claims that he died fighting for Ray at Saris, and I got me worried. Not that he'd chosen the wrong side, but that I had. It didn't seem right what Widewin had in store, but if he really was Aethys, I thought maybe mm. this old watcher would know how my brother died. So I could see if it was true. Like he could, I don't know, get it in my soul or something. Use our connection. Told you it was dumb. Should have asked me. I, I don't think it works that way, but why didn't you ask me for help? I don't know. Guess because I didn't know you. It's hard to trust a stranger that says she's a watcher. Of course, I knew the truth deep down. A watcher's not psychic. I think I just had this idea, and the idea made me feel a certain way, and I didn't want to lose that. Really, if I wanted to find out about my brother, I shouldn't be starting with watchers. I should be starting with records. Uh, so why don't you? Ida thinks for a moment, his lips twisted to one side. He raises his eyebrows. If there was anything written down about it, they'd have it in Defiance Bay. They've got an archive at that place. You've done a lot for me already. But if you could see fit to pay that archive a visit with me, well, you know. Knowing my luck, the records clerk will go crazy and try to kill me. I'd feel better with you in there with me. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, our current plan is to go to the Temple of Wodica. Hey. That's the current plan. Right. Uh, eventually we're going to drop you because I know there's a, a ranger coming in. But uh, until then... Until then... Oh, can we not get to it from there? Well, there's annoying. Uh, we'll have to go from Black Meadow, I guess. That's rather frustrating. Maybe we should have 
taken the long way round and gone south and then back up to Cadenra. But uh, never mind, not to worry. We'll not to worry. If we get some sleep. Yes, yes, we can do that once we get to the city. Uh, can we just go straight south? Yeah, look, we can go down that way. Past the wyvern bones. Bones of wyvern. There we can get to the bridge. Now we can get to the bridge. We can have a little look around. See what's going on. Or start a fight straight away. A Zorip skirmisher. You don't stand a chance, my little fella. Go on. Knock him down. Two bubs. Come on, what are you doing? There we go. Oh, it's in slow mode, isn't it? That's why. I keep going from fast to slow, and I don't know. I get confused. Right, normal speed. Maybe we should stealth. Oh, more Zorips. More Zorips. I keep waiting for the little scroll to come up, like on uh, Icewind Dale. Oh. That was some damage. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. There we go. There we go. You're nice and easy. Should just call them coal balls, really, shouldn't we? I think I've done that before. Might have said that before. Oh, little pot, little pot, little pot of stuff. Oh, camping supplies. We'll have them. Uh, fine hatchet is no use to anyone, but still, camping supplies. Right, that's the edge of the map there. Let's have a look at this place. Doesn't look very big. Oh, can't go there. Oh, these cliffs. These might just be cliffs. I see a bridge. Hello, what's going on here? Oh, we're not too worried about you. What about you? Oh, we don't want to talk to you either. Huh? You're both a bit strange. Looks like we'll be taking the long way to Defiance Bay. Uh, it looks like we will, doesn't it? The bridge is out. That's not a good position to be in. Oh, well. We'll have to find another route around. Oh, hello, fish. Ooh full of stuff. Oh, hello. Who are you? Curse my luck, the woman mutters, kicking her foot into the ground and upturning a clod of soil. As you approach, her ears twitch and she turns to greet you. Hail, traveller, she says with a half-hearted hand wave. The bridge to Defiance Bay is out. If that's where you're headed, you'll need to find another route. What destroyed the bridge? The river has been rising on account of all the storms. Here, where the n river narrows, the flooding did the most damage. The Orlan woman folds her arms, a scowl overtaking her face. Guess they don't make things to last around here, do they? One of the stone columns collapsed in a flash flood, taking the whole middle section of the bridge out to sea. Madma Bridge was the most direct route from Gilded Vale to Defiance Bay. Merchants and travellers now have to find boat passage or add days of extra travel to loop around. So I started a ferry service thinking I'd earn some coin and help others cross over to the bay. Peregrine shakes her head, her ears twitching as she speaks. And that was a bigger mistake than that time I allowed a cipher to court me. Mistake? How so? I'd been attempting to turn a quick copper, but she bites her lip, her face turning flush with anger. Just my luck, the blasted currents threw my ferry into the rocks dashed it and my profits to pieces. Making matters worse, when I went to prowl the shore to salvage whatever shipping crates didn't sink, a pair of looters attacked me. She stomps her foot to the ground. The damn brigands had the nerve to attack. I managed to avoid harm, but now they have stolen by force all that is left of my fortune. She eyes you for a long second, her hand cupping her chin. You know... You look like you'd fare better against those looters than little old me. Could I enlist your help? Yeah, I'll take a look. Peregrine smiles wide, her ears perking up. 
Thank you. I'm sure those thugs have made a mess of my stock, but maybe there's something there to be saved. So how do I get to Defiance Bay? With the bridge destroyed, the best course of action will be following the river north. You'll be able to cross farther upstream, but you've got a long walk ahead of you. Okay. Oh, look, we've got more conversations Hi. going on. Let's have a look at these. Aloth seems lost in thought. He flinches when you draw near, sucking a sharp breath through his teeth. What can I do for you? Uh, are you all right? Of course. Merely processing some of the unusual things we've seen lately. Yes, it's all a bit weird. And if Meowald is to be believed, it would seem you've an uncertain future ahead. Yes, we do. I think we'll go rational. He was out of his mind. I don't place stock in the ramblings of a lunatic. Perhaps Defiance Bay holds the answers we need. Perhaps it does. Uh, okay, that'll do for now. And what about you? What about you, Kana? I was hoping our meeting with Meowald would go a little differently. But then, you have gained an entire kingdom. I have. I don't think I've seen anyone inherit land that quickly since Kind the Younger read her father's will. Uh, I did come to the Durwood looking for a new home. I did come to the... I wish I could have... Uh, I, did, I did come to the Durwood looking for a new home. There, see? The ship floats yet. This might be good news in the end. Whatever else happens, you've an entire castle to explore. And answers is yet to come in Defiance Bay if Mayor Walt spoke true. It will give you a from which to go searching at least. And then, there are secrets beneath the keep yet. <laughs> With you at the helm, it should be easier to explore the endless paths. The endless paths, eh? Hey. Yeah. I don't think we'll be doing that just yet. We'll take that. Let's All have right a little look then. up here. Clear this bit out. Oh, hello. Zorips. Zorips. It's fine. We can handle that. Nothing we can't deal with. I was going to say, I assume that's Gabby. Oh, your health is very, very low. We really need to get to an inn. Getting to Defiance Bay would probably be really useful. Should have got loot. Should have picked up loot. Get, grab loot. Grab loot. Hey. Because we can. Right. Anything else? Oh, dear. They didn't take it for food, did they? What's that? A forest giant. It's a troll. It's a troll. And we've got one, two characters on very little health. And they're both our tanks. Um, we're not going to worry about that then. I'm assuming that can't happen to Rupert. Once we found an inn, we can deal with these bigger creatures. Or at least try to. What we don't want to do is get in a fight. Because that would be a bad thing right about now. Although, Zorips are alright. Zorip skirmishers. And what Kana can do... Oh, I've done it per rest. I was going to feel triage. Not to worry. Okay, that was quick and easy. That's what we like. All right, then. Get the little Zorip out of the way. Just the one of them this time. Forest troll up there. Or rather, just troll. Yes, run away, run away from the troll. Let's come down this side. Get this map uncovered. Do a little walk, hide behind the bush. Dun dun, come down here. Well, okay, fair enough. And we'll head down this path. Double speed. Okay, nice. We might have to go single file down here. Single file. Uh, that's not working very well, is it? There we go. Oh, hello. You're one of the looters. Oh, you're one of the looters. Okay. You're getting a pound in. That's what it comes down to. Aloth. Get both of them. Oh, one of them's down already. That's fine. Do it again. Do it again. There we go. Two looters down. Uh, nowhere to park our butts. 
And bears all the way at the back. Poor little Rupert. Of course. Yes, you gather up that way. Gather up that way. So there should be looters down here. I would imagine. I can't scroll the map down any further. There we go, look. Hanwen, I bet you're the leader. Gathered around the soggy timbers of a ship wreckage, men and women pick through the driftwood, snatching muddy silverware, mouldy clothes, chip pottery and anything they can spot among the detritus. All eyes turn to you as you approach. The group trade nervous stares until the group trade nervous stares at you until at last a woman in muddy clothes steps forward and speaks. Where are Brettle and Terran? she asks. They were just up along that path and we heard fighting. Her eyes narrow and her hand moves towards a knife at her belt as she anticipates your reply. Uh, they attacked us and it was a matter of self-defense. You, you killed them, you see Hanwen's eyes tear up before she buries her face in her hands. The men and women around her take a step back, eyeing you cautiously. Hanwen looks up, wiping her eyes. You speak of self-defense, but well, we are defending ourselves from this storm. Her voice rises and her face grows flush with emotion. The floods took our entire farm. We have nothing left, nothing. No food, no roof, and now I don't even have my cousins. She threw. Well, they did attack me. They were red circles. She throws up her hands in despair. We don't want to fight you. We have lost enough already. Uh, I came here investigating some missing cargo. We mistook your cousins for looters. Looting? But this is a wreck. What value does it have? The men and women all turn to her. Their faces frightened and worried. Please, we need these supplies dearly. The storm took everything from us. It is not our desire to steal, but we are destitute. Oh, uh, can I help? Perhaps you could tell the merchant you found nothing beyond bits of driftwood. Yes, fine. I will see what I can do. Fine. Thank you, she sighs, wiping sweat from her brow. You are the first turn of good fortune to come our way. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Fine. Head back up. Go and see Peregrind. Peregrind. Tell him we found nothing. And then those people can live another day. She's still alive. She can live another day. Nobody else has to die. Peregrine bounces on her feet bounces on her feet as you approach. My helpful stranger returns. Have you managed to find anything yet? Even if all you find is driftwood, just knowing those looters got what they deserved would moisten my breeches. That's kind of weird. Yes, I picked through the wreckage, but I found nothing salvageable. Peregrine kicks the f her foot into the dirt several times. I figured just as much. Well, thank you for your assistance. I suppose I need to figure out how I'll recover my investment. At last, her foot stops kicking and she lets out a long sigh. Thanks for trying. If you find yourself in Defiance Bay, search out my shop. I'll need all the customers I can get. Very well. Very well. I have no mouse. I've lost my mouse. Oh, she's walking away. That's why. There we go. Hey. Right. Which way do we want to go? South. Really, we want to go east. But there is no east. We, can we go east this way? Might be able to go east this way. Let's go and have a look. Double speed. Double speed. Come on, people. Let's jump to it. There we go. Right. Uh, wood End Plains take us a day and 22 hours. We are going to need to rest soon. I think we may not explore this map and just head towards Defiance Bay, to be honest. Let's see how tired we are. Perhaps a little rest is in order. Oh, we're all tired now. Look, main keep construction completed. Oh, now we get to build other things for our keep. Not enough money, not enough money, not enough money, not enough money. I haven't got enough money. I need more money. Okay, let's uh, let's follow the path and hope we don't get into trouble. Let's do a quick save. Let's do a quick save. There's stuff over there. We'll go and rest up. We can always come back. Look, why is your... Look, your pictures are all greyed out. It's like 
your endurance has recovered but it didn't reset your picture back to colour is what it is never mind half and half oh hello this is who we're looking for I think a dwarven woman dressed in skins and hides leans against the road marker her face is turned down her eyes darkened by a thick stripe of face paint she's sharpening a bone arrowhead with a scrimshaw handled knife her attention, however, is focused on a bare figurine between her feet. A large white-furred fox standing at her heels looks up at your approach. It's not him. No, it's not me. It's not him. Who are you waiting for? Short version. I'm looking for a very, very old friend. I'm not sure what skin he's wearing now, but I'll know him when I see him. Okay, he likes to wear skin, does he? You're going to have one of these weird ancestor friends, aren't you? Standing around here is probably not the most productive thing. Can I help you find him? Can I help you find him? She stops sharpening her arrowhead and slowly folds her arms. That's an interesting question. The last helpful stranger only succeeded in lightening my purse. I think I'll handle this on my own. Your friend is supposed to meet you here? That's what I heard. Of course, the man who told me so was carrying a staff he claimed was made from dragon bone. But I know Whitewood when I see it. That should have been my first clue. But I had to try something. Uh, try something? The long version. Here we go. I'm from an island to the far south called Nasitok. I came here looking for a village elder, a man we knew as Persog. I'm a hunter back home, so tracking someone wouldn't normally be a problem. But Persog's trail is cold, to say the least. How long have you been looking for him? Five years. Her painted brows lower and her compact muscular frame sags for just an instant five years why can't you find him he died when i was still a young girl forgot to mention that part did i i'm looking for his latest reincarnation which could be anyone so you've been searching five years for a stranger you barely remember who could be anyone now and he's also dead that about sums it up and it, uh, actually i know how you, you feel have my sympathies hopefully you've got a better lead than i do uh, how does that statuette figure into it she dusts the figurine on her trousers and raises it in her small flat palm. It's carved in the shape of a bear, smooth and round. The polished Adre is worn to a dull mat along its arched back and ovoid haunches. A soft glow emanates from Cute, within. Isn't it? it belonged to Persok. Before he returned to the wheel, he left a splinter of his soul in it. Something to help us find him later. As she holds it out to you, you feel wisps of sensation. Not quite memories, but traces of someone. When I left Nasitok, it was completely dark inside. But as I've gotten closer to Persok, it's glowed steadily brighter. Since I've reached the Deerwood, however, it's gotten hard to read. Some days it flickers and goes dark. Others it shines nice and bright for a few hours. But most of the time it looks just like this. I could take a look at it. I've heard that one before. The whole reason I'm standing here is because some so-called watcher from Forkvale told me he could take a look. For a few golden dukes, of course. Yeah. I was on my way out of the Balmarsh when I heard talk of a traveling mystic who could supposedly see souls. I knew it was a long shot, but what did I have to lose? I went to see this fellow and gave him the Audra figurine. He made a big show of moaning and rolling his eyes, and after I'd given him five golden dukes to lift the shroud, he told me to seek the crossroads in the field between the wolf's lair and the twining trees. Go on. He thought he was being vague, but I know the area well enough to recognize that he meant this place. Right between Defiance Bay and Twin Elms. I had a bad taste in my mouth, but my coin was spent and I'd already left an arrow in his knapsack as a friendly warning. Told him I'd come back and leave him with another if it turned out he was giving me the runaround. I've been here a week now. Guess he had the last laugh after all. Well, you could go after that false watcher. She swats at the air. I was mostly trying to scare him. I wouldn't really kill a man over a few gold pieces. I don't have much use for coin anyway. Sides knowing his type, he's cleared out of town by now and spent whatever he made. Well, what if I'm Persock? Not to disappoint you, but there's no chance. This thing would glow like a torch. Can I see the figurine? Why? Uh... Please? Fine. But if you try to run, just remember that my arrows are faster. No problem. I am running out of health as it is. She hands you the figurine, her chapped knuckles grazing your hand. She watches you examine it, wary but curious. 
You raise the age of bear, turning it in the light. As your eye eyes catch a tiny, glinting scratch, the scenery around you melts away. You're standing on a cliff overlooking the water, seeing through eyes that aren't your own. You catch the musk of beasts amidst, amidst the fresh scent of vegetation, and your heart beats a little faster. You'll have to watch your step up here. You look down just long enough to see the sharp, pale cliffs drop into the water hundreds of feet below you. Uh, perception 15. Sniff the breeze. Breathing deeply, you smell salt in the air. Wherever you're standing, wherever Persok is standing, it must be near the ocean, not a lake. I see a vision of cliffs high over the water. Does that sound familiar? Your question is greeted with shrugs and silence. Oh, we'll give it back. I've got it. Standing on a about? cliff. What just happened? I'm a real watcher. She blinks at you a few times, calculating. I know this sounds strange, but it's the truth. You realize I've got no coin to give you. That's Even fine. If I did believe you. Uh, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Dismiss. Recruit. Done. Lovely job. And that's pretty good timing as well. So, uh... Hey. We'll call that episode there. Oh, I've got to redo this. Let's, uh, let's just quickly... Look, you're organised. You're organised. Let's put you in the middle. That'll do. Let's put you there. Click on you there. There we go. Back to normal. Beautiful. Well, we'll, uh... We'll look at heading west next time. I don't think we'll clear all of this map. We'll see, see how the, the mood takes us. Hey. Um, we'll pick that and, uh... Yeah. We'll uh, hopefully next time head out into uh, Defiance Bay. That's the place. I was going to call it Durwood Bay then. We'll head out into Defiance Bay and see what's going on with the hey. world. So until then, folks, bye bye for now.